So Julianne, this is the video from this morning. I'll get it started. Um, just going to actually start it right here, and we'll start now. Just now, two things: forearms nice and flat, fantastic. Now watch what happens as we tap. See your wrist? So we're dropping the wrist. What we're trying to do is actually drop the handle like that. So you've got to picture that down and away action um, with less wrist. So it's the hands go down and they push away. And as the hands go down, the blade rolls, the handle rolls in your finger. Um, additionally, we just want to push these elbows just a tiny bit further that way. By drawing through and squeezing our shoulder blades together, we push our chest out, and in pushing our chest out, we fill it up with more air, fresh air, that'll help us as we're pushing along, particularly into the second half of a race. But it's good for our posture, it straightens our back, and it sits us up a bit more upright when we draw through, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So here we go, wrists down. And just have a look at some of the tap outs. That was a bad tap out. That was a little better. The next couple are better if I remember. Yeah, that's a bit better. But we really want to tap the blade right out as we tap it out. But I left that at regular speed. Um, sometimes it's better to see it at slower, but um, by showing you that thing with your, your wrist right at the beginning and your elbow, those two things will help you accelerate the handle and also then help you let go of the water. If we let go of the water and the boat's level, it's really easy to do the next part of the sequence correct.